Hey guys, Heavenly here. I'm here to talk to you about how I go about getting a date. Right, so a couple years ago, um, I was dating someone and then we ended up breaking up because we just had differences for whatever reason. The first thing I did was text message everyone in my phone. Sometimes you get into a relationship, that person kind of consumes all of your time, and I kind of let that person consume all of my time. They didn't really like my friends, they were a very jealous person. And so I talked to everyone I hadn't talked to in a while. I literally messaged everyone in my phone. In my mind, if it doesn't kill you, that, what's the worst that can happen? What, you can tell me no? And even then, just because you tell me no doesn't mean I can't go get it done somewhere else. So I text messaged everyone on my phone and I ended up with like, I don't know, maybe eight dates for the week. For me, dating isn't meeting my soulmate. It's a pastime for me to get to know someone or to just have fun. When you're trying to get a date, male or female, it's not good to be needy or demanding. Just be assertive. All you have to do is be assertive, male or female. I know that seems like a really difficult thing to do, especially if you're nerve-wrecked on rejection, but a date doesn't even necessarily mean that you like someone. It just means I'm getting to know you and I could like you or I could not like you. It's pretty much a person interview. It's not really a biggie. It's having someone go somewhere with you and you getting to know that person. It's not life or death, guys. I kid you not. Um, asking them questions or just going up to someone, speaking to them. Um, it doesn't matter where you are. Library, hey, how you doing? What are you studying? Um, house, hey, how you doing? What are you looking at? Probably going to be reading a book, right? Uh, at school, hey, how are you doing? What are you doing this weekend? It's not as scary as you're making it. It's just a matter of you asking the question. Because nine times out of ten, if you have some chemistry towards that person, they probably have some for you, too, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I kid you not. It's not something that you need to sweat. You're not missing out. Just ask someone else. Somebody's going to say yes, and you'll have a date. Kid you not. It's simple. It's easy. You just need to ask. So I'm pretty sure you're just like, well, no stuff. I knew I just need to ask. Or maybe if you're a more passive person, you're thinking to yourself, I kind of like to be asked. No, that's your problem. People don't read minds. You might be coming off as friendly as, I have no idea who's the friendliest person thing I can think of. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Somebody really super friendly for no reason. Think of that person. You could be coming off as that person. You don't know. That's why you have to kind of like get through the barriers. Hey, do you want to go out? It's kind of obvious we're going out, right? For my traditionalists, because I know some of you girls out there are thinking, why don't they? ask me and some of you guys are out there thinking you know I can't really read her it it's not about reading it's just about you going through the crap and being assertive hey would you like to go out with me yes great see you Tuesday another thing with trying to get a date is planning them too far in advance I don't think you should plan a date more than three with three days some deep people do it for a week but I mean a lot happens from here to seven days you never know I know this sounds weird, but some of you guys are overly picky, and I don't mean it as in a lower your standards, but dating really is the time you take to get to know another person. It's, it's not that deep. And sometimes, just you going out to date another person, you get to meet someone else. It's not like you're trying to be, that's not your, it may, may or may not be your soulmate, you don't know. It's just, try, it's like trying a new flavor of ice cream. It's really not that deep. Hey, you like purple? I like purple. You don't like the color green? Well, that's horrible, you know? I, think the color green is really kind of fantastic. It's really getting a feel of who that person is. And at the same time, you're exposing yourself to other people. People notice the openness about you. It's a matter of asking, being assertive, and not being afraid of rejection. If you can get over those three bumps, you've got this. Happy dating. And let me know of any other tips you think about. Those are what worked for me or have worked for me in the past. And um, like, love, share. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day, guys. Bye.